Oh, hello. So it started eating away at me as to how it would look with just the default mapping. So this is the same shirt I showed you in the last video, but the anchor points have been removed, and what I've done is I've programmed Unity to just kind of guess at what the anchor points should be. So if we go over into Unity, uh, that's just the, there we are. So over here on the left, let me go ahead and move this sunlight, it is there. So over here on the left I have the original shirt, which is the one that has um, which is the one that has the full in... come on you sorry it's two in the morning it's the one that has the full interior mesh here uh, which are used for anchoring and the reason that I wanted to use the full interior mesh was specifically so that I could get the hanging belly um, that I was talking about and I mentioned that if I didn't do that I'd get a tucked in shirt well here's the shirt that stands alone without an interior mesh and the only difference is that this one doesn't have manual affixation marked. So when I hit play, the one on the left is exactly like it was before. It hangs down like a moo moo. And the one on the right tucks in. Now you can see that there is a um, there is some pop through here, and that's specifically because of Unity politely putting a uh, uh, breaking the plane in the opposite direction on the left side as opposed to the right side. Um, but that's not a huge issue. Uh, we could solve it in a number of ways, one of which is we could break it into triangles in, in Blender if we wanted to. We don't have to leave that to Unity. And the other thing we could do is I left that very low density specifically because I was going to let it hang and therefore it didn't need any density. Uh, so if I was going to have a shirt which uh, attached to the to the uh, skin there, I would put a, a much higher density mesh and that would solve the problem. But you can see that it tucks in with the belly. Other than that, they look basically identical because they are basically identical. And uh, the result is that this can be used to knock out models very, very rapidly without worrying about syncing up perfectly to the underlying mesh. And it would also be useful if you were trying to do mesh replacement. So if you wanted to replace the torso of your figure with a torso that had a shirt on it, rather than just overlaying a shirt. Uh, you can do that using this method, and you won't have to worry about which of your body verts are um, permanent body verts and which are in which are temporary, which is a problem I was working with before. Um, and there are ways around that, but this is actually the easiest way around that. So, uh, all told, this is what it looks like with um, the automatic version of the manual thing I did earlier. Uh, sorry if this is a little unclear. It's something I knocked out in 20 minutes at 2 in the morning because I couldn't get to sleep until I saw whether or not it worked okay. And I think it'd work okay in every situation except the one I specifically designed to show off why it wouldn't work okay.